Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at viewport width and viewport height and why are there four ways of measuring this? In particular, why are there four ways and they're all giving us the same height here? On the desktop browser, so I'm in Chrome here on the desktop at the moment, I've got four rectangles and I've set their viewport heights to 50% and they're giving us the same value. So what's the point of having these four different measurements you know we've got the, here's the standard one that's been around forever viewport height then we've got a small viewport height a large viewport height and a dynamic one as well they're all set and they're, and they're all given to the same well the the problems that arise with using these units is not really on desktop it's more on a mobile a browser so let's switch let's switch over to the mobile view here um, and we can see now that they are giving us different values on a mobile. So the small viewport height here is definitely less. Also, the dynamic one is less. The, the original viewport height and large are a little bit bigger. So why is that? Well, it's because of the optional UI elements on a mobile browser. So the address bar is definitely one now i'm just emulating this but this bit at the top here would be where the, you'd have the url box on a mobile browser um, the thing is because you've got limited space on a mobile when you scroll uh, that can sometimes disappear and that means you've got a larger viewport area so back in the day when we were just using viewport height here you'd have the, the mobile device would have to work out whether to just keep the viewport units the same, even though they no longer represent that area um, or update them and potentially get some reshifting of the display. So it proved a little bit tricky and that's why we've got these extra options here now. So you, as a developer, you've got more control um, on what is going on. So let's have a look here. So, you know, when, when I scroll, you'll see this top bar slowly disappear. Uh, and if I, when that's gone, if I now stop scrolling, you'll see in the yellow there, the dynamic view height is going to update and become the same as the large view height. So large view height, this guy here, is always fixed and it always assumes there's no optional elements on the screen there's no address bar there's no navigation buttons down the bottom um, and small view height is the opposite it's giving you the value assuming that all of these ui elements are, are visible um, so with those with those in place you can now start to use viewport height to fit content to a screen um, and have it still fit nice and snugly regardless of what's on the display you know previously you might set viewport height to 100 percent and think yep that's going to fit there's going to be no vertical scrolling um and then no it overflows um or it fits and then you scroll up the address bar disappears and then there's a gap at the bottom um so this, this is why we've got those units. So using um, dynamic view height will be good as long as you're happy for it to actually resize when that happens. Um, or you can stick with small and, and large and, and, and be um, happy with that approach as well. Um, what about viewport width? Well, on a mobile, if we look at viewport width 100, because there's no optional elements on the sides, uh, they're just going to be giving you the same value. So in this respect, they are kind of redundant. Yeah, they're all going to be giving you the same value. Potent potentially, if mobiles do end up putting something on the side, then these are there to help us in that scenario. But uh, currently, that, that isn't the case. Um, and certainly even back on the desktop browser, if we look at viewport width, these are all giving us that full width as well. Uh, one thing to note here though is certainly in Chrome, um, dynamic viewport width doesn't even help us with a vertical scroll bar. So if you want um, your content to fit a page and you're gonna use viewport width, you're gonna get into problems with a scroll bar appearing. If I show you, so these look all nice at the moment here, um, but if we, come into viewport width and 
and do that. So we've got some content now that means we've got a vertical scroll bar and that overlays our content and Chrome then puts a horizontal bar so that you can get to see that. Um, so this horrible um, horizontal scroll bar isn't resolved by dynamic view width on, on the desktop browser. Um, you know, uh, uh, browsers like Firefox handle this a lot better in that their scroll bar doesn't overlay, is invisible, more like on a mobile. Um, so you don't get this issue there, but still wouldn't really want to be using uh, the viewport width to fit things nicely because you can't, you might might likely get this horrible little scroll bar down here. Um, all right, there you go. That's um, viewport width and viewport height and, and, and the additional ones we've got there, the small viewport, the large viewport, and the dynamic viewport as well. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.